Hello everyone. This is part 2 video tutorial how to create drop down menu using Java Swing. Here we going to create animation, so now create menu animation class. Create show menu method as public and static, this method used to show and also used to hide the menu. We need to get the menu height, so we can use method get preferred size. Create animation object from animator class. For duration, we use 300 milliseconds. Set animation resolution to zero to make animation run look smooth. And set acceleration and deceleration. Then start the animation. Here when we show menu, we make the fraction animation run from 0 to 1, but when we hide the menu, we make fraction animation run from 1 to 0. To hide and show menu, we need set size to panel submenu, but we use MIG layout method to control the size of the submenu panel. So after change the layout component constraints, we need call method revalidate to update the layout. Go back to menu class, then call method show menu after add submenu panel. And here we need set the panel height to zero because we use animation to show. But if I click two time, it add more submenu panel, so we need to hide it after showing. Before show, we set selected to true, for note is menu current showing. Then use condition, we show the menu if menu item is not selected. And if the menu are selected, we going to hide it. So to hide the menu, we create one method to hide it. For submenu panel, we call method set name to note this panel index. Now in method hide menu, we create for loop to find the submenu panel by index. We use method set name to store the index, so we use method get name to check the index. Call method show menu in class menu animation. But we use false to hide the menu. So next we going to set the menu icon. Here icon that I have download, so copy all to the project. The name of icon is followed by index of the menu from 0.png to 10.png. Create method get icon to get the icon by index of the menu. So we can call method get icon here. Create URL from the path location of icon.
So if the URL object is not null, then we can create image icon object. But we do not see the image. So we need to check the image location again. Here I provide wrong path location, I put all image in package menu, so just remove the icon. So now we can see the image, but we need change the menu color and remove default button style. Go to menu item class and add some code. Set horizontal alignment to align text to left. Icon text gap to make space between icon and text. And set border to make menu item pending. But we need create the main menu panel background first. Go to menu class, we need override method paint component to create the background, because the class J component do not have any background. And go to method in it, use method set opaque to true, by default the J component opaque is false, if you want to keep it false, it's okay, but I recommend you, if you fill the full background of custom component you should set it to true. So for the sub menu item, we need change to different color or add some dark. Here we can remove method set content area field in method init sub menu because we already set in constructor. For sub menu item border, we set the left side is 33 pixel. Set background color. And don't forget to call method set opaque to true. And thank you everyone for watching. See you next video.